what is good everybody Tunji again from Caesar graphics welcome to my channel today I'm gonna to be teaching you guys how to make this Easter Sunday church poster all right so without any further ado let's jump into today's tutorial Right, so if you need the exercise file for this project, simply check this description section of this video and you will see the exercise file link there. All right, so I'm gonna drag and drop my background image. So I'm trying to achieve the exit of the tomb where you know Jesus Christ was. So I'm going to go to image and I'll select image size. So remember to uncheck this chain here the reason why we're doing that is so as to be able to change the width of our project without affecting the height so i'm going to copy the size of my height and i'll paste it in the width option here now if i click on ok now i have a square shape of uh, my frame so the next thing i'm going to do is to go to filter and i'll go to distort and i'll select polar coordinates so if i zoom out now we have uh, this effect so i'm going to click on the ok button and the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, make a duplicate of the layer and i'll zoom out okay and i'll bring out the free transform and i'm going to scale this real big all right to about um, let's say this point Okay, so uh, the next thing I'm going to do again is I'm going to change the size of my project. So I'm going to click on the chain now and I'm going to make this 1100. Zero, zero. And uh, now you see, as I change the width, is affecting the height. So the, the, the reason why this happened is because I, you know, clicked on this chain icon here. So I'm going to click on the OK button. And I have uh, this. Now, it's not compulsory you adjust the frame size of your project. I just decided to do that, all right? So it's not something that you have to do. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add a curve adjustment to this. I'm just going to drag this down and I'll push this up just like so, right? So, so, all right, so this is good. So you see, we're having this line here, which I think is not professional. So well, we need to take that out. But before I do that, I'm going to create a new layer and I'll call this Sun Glow. All right. Then I'm going to select the brush tool. Then I'll switch this to white. Reduce the size of my brush. And I'm just going to click here and just apply more light to this side of my project, just like so. I'll reduce the size of my brush and just randomly apply the light. To to my projects yeah, this is good so it's time for us to take out this um, line so I'm going to select the healing brush all right that's the spot healing brush and I'm going to increase the size of my brush and I'm just going to click and drag down like so now you see we don't have those lines anymore so I can just do this like this all right so this is good then um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a gradient map. So I'm going to click on, go to the adjustment panel here and click on the gradient map option here. And I'll come here and change the color of my gradient color picker to D6, FB, FF. And I'm going to click on the OK button all right then i'll click here to add another slider and i'm going to change this to 004 a 79 so i'm going to click on the ok button then i'll come here and i'll change this to 00 to be 41 all right then i'm going to click on the ok button now this is what I have now all right so I'm gonna click on the OK button here and I'm gonna reverse this just like so now the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to change my um, 
blend mode to color and I want this to be above this just like so now you see we have this glow uh, effect around uh, my image here so I'm going to uh, go to the curve adjustment again and I'm just gonna move this down and I'll select Control I on my keyboard to reverse the mask and I'll select my brush too okay so I want the edges of my frame to be darker than the middle so the whole idea of doing this is to uh, make people's focus be at the center of the project so I'm going to switch this to white and I'm just going to apply my brush gently so it's beautiful all right okay so the next thing I'm going to do again is I'm just going to create a new layer and I'll call this orange sun okay and i'm going to change the color of this i already have the orange here so for those of you that care to see the code this is the code for my orange here which is ff9631 i'm going to click on the ok button and now i'm just going to click once right here at the center of my project just like so and i'm going to bring out the free transform and scale this real uh, big just like so and I'll change my blend mode to to soft light yeah it should be soft light so I'm gonna scale this big again okay let's scale this big just one more time I'm just gonna select the brush tool again you know what I'm just gonna I need to apply the the um, color to the edges of my tomb just like so right here just like so yeah now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna make a copy of this and i'm gonna call this i'm gonna make the blend mode overlay all right and um so for the overlay i'm gonna bring out the free transform and i'm going to scale this down just like so all right so just in case you want this to be more stronger which is the uh, orange light you can make a copy of it again and then you have this uh, orange um, glow uh, effect all right so i'm going to hit the eraser tool and i'm just going to gently take out the glow from the side of my project just like so all right then now um, for the gradient map i think i still need to reduce the strength of um, the opacity of the gradient map because it's looking too strong on my project just like so now so what I'm doing next is to create a burn and dodge layer. So I'm going to hold down Alt and click and call this burn slide dodge. Okay. And I'll change my blend mode to soft light and check the fill with soft light neutral color 50% gray option here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the burn tool. All right. Over here. This is the burn tool. And I'm just going to make some part of my projects more darker just like so so as to add more you know depth to uh, my projects all right so i'm going to do the same thing here right so here like so all right this is good so the next thing i'm going to do is i am going to change from burn to dodge so what i want to do is i want to create something like a passage here so i'm just going to apply my um dodge here so as to make this look like a passage all right yeah this is good now this is the before and this is the after so the next thing i'm going to do is to stamp visible of uh the layer so to do that, I'm going to hold down Ctrl, Shift, Alt, and E on my keyboard. And we are going straight to Camera Raw to uh, color grade the project. So I'll go to Filter, and I'll select Camera Raw um, Filter here. So I'm going to start with the basics, all right? And I'm going to uh, push down the exposure just like so, all right? 
and uh, I'm going to uh, increase the contrast. All right, now for the highlight, I need to push that down because I don't want this side of my uh, project to look too um, glow like the way it is. So I'm just going to push this down. Now we see we're beginning to see the details here. And um, for my texture, I'm going to push that up. So I really want to have more contrast on the pixels. So I'm going to push this to about this point. And um, for the um, vibrance, all right, so I'm going to dial that up so as to boost the colors on um, the project. Okay, so for the curve, I'm going to do the S curve of this, all right. This is good. Now for the detail, all right, I need to increase the sharpening just like so. And I'm going to go straight to the color mixer, all right? And I'm going to boost the orange under saturation. So I'm just going to move this up like so and move this up just like so. All right. This is beautiful. All right. So um, on the... Um, so on the effect, I'm going to add grain to this. So I'm adding noise to this so as to make it look more real, okay? And um, under the calibration, I'm going to increase the uh, blue primary, all right, so as to make the colors more richer. And I'm going to do the same thing on the red. I'm going to adjust just the saturation on the red just a little. And then we have um, this. So now I'm going to click on the OK button. All right, now this is the before and this is the after. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to add my text. So I'll use um, regular, all right? And uh, for this, I'm just gonna change the color to, I'm gonna change to the bold front and I'm gonna change my color to orange, just like so, all right? And I'm gonna create a new layer here and I'll pick a color from here, okay? Now so little brush and I'm just gonna apply the brush here, just like so and this up and just reduce the opacity of this just a little bit so as to be able to make um, my text here more visible so the next thing i'm going to do is just put the title and the writer in a group all right and call this title okay so this is one of the fun part of this tutorial so i'm going to add a layer mask and just add a light effect around and just add light effect around the title so i'm just select the brush too and make sure that you are on my, your foreground is set to black, which is the opposite of white. And I'm just going to apply my brush to the title just like so. So you need to be adjust, you need to be playing with the the size of your brush. Something here, just like so. All right, so I so this 
is the final project okay guys so i hope you enjoyed today's tutorial and um, if you have not subscribed remember to hit the subscribe button and remember to ring the bell so you won't miss any of my tutorials okay and remember to share comment and like this video i'll see you guys again in my next tutorial peace